What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Space Hulk Deathwing. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and hopefully kill some more Gene Steelers because I love my dungarees. I love my dungarees. As the flight of the Concord said, them dungarees leave me hungry. The identifier code of the trapped ship has been decrypted. Mixed blessings, brother. We have located the Caliban's will, last recorded during the Horus Heresy, as we suspected. It can only be reached through another vessel, a crusade warship from the Black Templars that is listed as lost in the warp during the 39th millennium, identified in the archives as the Sanctum Imperator. It was launched by the missionaries Galaxia, but never reached its destination. The transport has impacted into the Caliban's will, and is preventing direct access to our ancient Legion ship. It is imperative that you seize the Sanctum Imperator, so that our forces can make a breach into the Caliban's will. Your attack must be swift. Orga crews have warned that elements of the nearby Tyranid High Fleet have changed course, and are now heading directly toward the Alethros. No, not directly towards the Alethros. You know, the problem here that I'm running into when it comes to the itemization in this game is that the initial Storm Bolter is just like better than all the other weapons because you can snipe with it. And one of the most dangerous things in the game are either turrets that are really far away or B, guys with those rocket launchers, the Gene Steeler cultists with the rocket launchers that are super far away. I think we got a new Bolter pattern, I thought. Let's see, we got the Four Sword, the Redemption. Maybe it was somebody else who gets to use that. He's still using Narthesium. He's got Lightning Claw, Plasma Cannon, Assault, he's got Storm Bolter. So technically I could make him just like, he's supposed to be like our Devastator Terminator, but I could technically just make him like a normal Terminator. Yeah, there it is right there. So what's the difference? This one has way worse recoil, does more damage, fire rate's lower, accuracy is worse. Reliability still appears to be alright. It looks like I can single shot it, or I can use it in fully, oh, maybe you can only fire in single shot, I don't know. We'll have to figure that one out the weird way. Oh, and you can't wear a you can't wear a four sword with it either. Okay, I guess I'll take the mace of course Wayne then. Even though it appears to be the same as a power fist. You know what? I, I feel like fisting today. Let's go ahead and we'll go with the fisting. Oh, it's like a shotgun. Ooh, Megusta. I think this is gonna be pretty awesome. Let's jump up in here. Inside the Sanctum Imperatories, impious creatures will find much to conceal their whereabouts and movements. Be on your guard, brothers. Well, you know there's nothing that gets me husky for a murdering, like a lack of piety. If you were impious, then, well, I suppose we just gotta handle our business. You might have to catch rounds. Dude, this is gonna be what's up. I can't wait to shoot somebody with this gun. Is that like a normal thing to say? I feel like that's a weird thing to say. I can't wait to shoot somebody with this gun. Yeah. That got him. Ooh. Keep that spread nice and tight, too. Hey, back up off the homie. Back up off of my homies. You don't even know me. Y'all Tyranids can blow me. If you want to bring it, show me. See? Battle Brothers got mad rhymes. That's why they're dope. That's why everybody gets down with the Battle Brothers. We got an enemy coming from that way, but he don't concern me none. I do kind of wish I could bring up the flank more, like, effectively. Because I do feel like these guys don't really fight with the efficiency that I want them to. Oh, yeah, we've got all kinds of enemies over there. Let's maybe not get hit by rockets. Let's duck into a little pocket over here. And hopefully we can keep ourselves out of the way. So the reason why I wasn't finding any of the artifacts in the previous episodes, largely relegated to the fact that they're hidden inside of secret walls, as far as I understand it. Like that one, right there. Uh, you can bust through walls all over the place, and they will allow you access to areas you otherwise couldn't get to. And my guess is that that's where they're hiding a large proportion of all of the random artifacts that we've been missing out on over the course of the last couple levels. So I'm going to do my best to keep an eye out for, like, walls that are busted out or anything like that, and we'll just kick them down if we have to. I don't know how into the idea of looking for artifacts you guys are, but I'm kind of into it. Like, I, I feel like it's an enjoyable experience. And I feel like it's something that I should spend some time doing. This shotgun is what's up. This shotgun is so live. 
laying down that buck shot, that well enough shot. Oh my god, you better get out of my face. I love the fact that it just like one shots them. That's what I like about it the best is I don't have to pump like 12 rounds into them. It's just like slunk and they're done. Oh, he's up there. I didn't even see that dude. And the spread is so good. Who's shooting missiles? Please stop shooting missiles at me. I don't want to be impacted right now with large phallic shaped objects. I keep that for weekends only. That's my special time. We don't we don't invite that while we're running around trying to do the Emperor's will. It's a distraction. It's a distraction what makes me lose traction. It breaks me out of the action. It brings me no satisfaction. I could keep going, but I, I feel like you guys have had enough at this point. You probably don't want to hear it. What about is there another busty wall over here? The bustiest of walls? No, this wall's already been kicked open, so I don't think this one's gonna help us too much. When it comes to getting new things. Never mind then. I didn't really want to. This is my first episode that I've ever recorded with my new mic setup. It's gonna be pretty sweet. I think you guys are gonna like it. My new mic setup is something that I've been like leaning towards for a very, very long time. Finally went and got myself a new XLR interface. It's got much better noise canceling than my previous one. It's of a much nicer build. Got myself like a Shure SM7B. Basically, I've been saying that I was going to upgrade my studio for a long, long time and just haven't done it because there's always something else more pertinent that like is going on in my life. Like either I'm like moving or spending too much money on groceries and Doritos. Just sort of depends. But this time around, I was like, you know what? I'm finally going to do it. Yamo do it. Yeah. I feel like you guys made a mistake. I don't think you want to fight me in this close of quarters with this gun equipped. I don't think there's anything back. Oh my god, there's so many cultists here, brothers. I shall shoot down the hall with my buckshot. Although I think in this universe they would call it something like nidshot or something like that. Because I don't really think there's a whole lot of buck hunting going on in the 41st millennium. Instead, nid hunting seems like it happens all the time. So maybe we just call it like nidshot. Got myself a new pop filter. Well, it's actually a new windscreen. It's not a pop filter. This poor bastard over here, they murdered his ass just so they could mount a brazier on his back. Oh my good lord, it's an ambush. Run down the hallway. Run down the hallway. It's our only chance. Oh, that guy went for a nice little flight when I caught him with rounds. Good. No, stop stubbing me. I like how the shotgun is actually a solid shotgun in this game. Most games shotguns suck ass and their spread is too large to actually be fun. This game, oh my god, they're firing from up above too. We got all kinds of problems right now. Gene Stealer Cult is not feeling our presence. They're trying to shake us out of our trees right now. Is there anything I can destroy in here to get access to any like new air Whoa! Holy bejeebus, I just got shot with like all kinds of crazy shit. Let's do that right there. Please heal him. I'm not going to have to avenge you because I'm about to shoot you with a ridiculous quantity of narcotics. Oh, we lost a man. We got a man down. We got a man down. And it's our healer. That's the worst person to have down, unfortunately. Well, watch my booty hole and we're going to try and press our way through. Oh, it better not be blocked. That means this was all pointless. Even with our 20% armor increase, we're still getting our asses whooped in here. I'm about to go back to equip my Psy Lightning anyways, or my Psy Fire, my Pillar, so I can spit hot flames at those that aim to do me wrong. I'm going to sprint across here because they seem to have it covered. There's got to be a way to access them up there and punish them for their iniquities. Here, I'm going to disable this too, so scan... Disable that because I saw it on my radar before we went any further on in. And I would very much prefer just to have that taken out. Yeah, my old my old XLR interface that I used to use for recording was working last weekend, but then ultimately it developed a ground, I think. I think somewhere in the Phantom Power button it got a ground. And so what is that? We've got a major relic. Good. I like major relics. Looks like that's going to be mostly blocked. I don't think I can actually take that anywhere. It does look like there are access points to get up to that catwalk that they were shooting us from. Maybe? I don't know. There's a marine area over here, though, too. So I assume that's where we have the best chance of seeing dolphins and perhaps some sea lions. And so I'm going to go over there. We're going to see future Shamu. It's basically just Shamu with a whole bunch of laser cannons mounted onto him. The 41st millennium is dark, man. 
It's dark. You gotta watch out. If you're gonna participate in the shenanigans, you gotta understand. Things are a little brutal out here. Get that door the hell up out the way. Oh yeah, look at that. They've got pauldrons mounted on the walls. See, I was wondering why my vision was creeping inwards like that. I was a little bit concerned about it, but I didn't want to say anything. It didn't feel like my health was going down, but... Sinisian's success. So yeah, if you want to get some new pauldrons or whatever, they're right here on the walls. I don't think that wall's going to break open, but I, it was worth a shot just to see what would happen. This area is looking a little bit sketchy. Knock, knock. Anybody in here? Oh, this is the worst part of the 41st Millennial Hood. Here, let's back it on up. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Everybody inside this little area. Come on. Hey, stop stop watching my ass quite so efficiently. Oh, dude. You're about to get us run up on. No! You is dead. Alright, so I brought us back in here. We're back in the shoulder pad emporium. Apparently the pauldron emporium. Come to Paolo's pauldron emporium. The best place to emporium and emporium for the emporium of pauldrons. Oh my good lord. People shooting all kinds of missiles and shit. Is there like a turret? Oh, there's a bunch of turrets in there. Okay, so we're going to have to flank those. And then I'll disable them once we flank them. I'm assuming that the gene stealers have hacked those. Considering we don't appear to be having much luck. Go ahead and heal him, please. Make it happen with the Narthesium. Well, then you better shoot that warrior strain with an auto cannon, man. What are you telling me for? Get on your job, G. I don't see anything that looks like a breakable wall up here. But I'm going to need to be covered anyways. Let me go ahead and lock this real fast. And now that that's been locked, I'm going to need to scan. Oh, no, those are enabling a dis. Oh, they're already disabled. Well, then what was shooting at me? Well, here, what happens if I hack them? Do they come onto my side if I hack them? Because last time I hacked one, I thought that it shot me, too. Oh, I can actually fire from here. Okay, well, I mean, if they destroy the sentry, I don't really care about it. That's not the uh, the biggest concern for me right now. It seems like these might be secret walls around here somewhere. A couple more down on that side. I don't see anything too useful, though. Oh, there are a lot of cultists running around. Yeah, well, take care of it, man. I can't shoot that far. I got a shotgun. We are outside of my skill sets right now. Outside of my skill sets and my loadup. Worst time to reload ever. How could you do that, Gene Stealer Hybrid? How could you do that? Oh, no. Sorry, I, I farted a little bit of lightning. I got worried. Is that normal? I gotta ask the telepathic if it's normal to fart lightning when you're nervous. This psyker business, man, it's heresy. Wow, we are going through these things. There are a lot of them in here. We gotta move our asses off now. Try and stay away from missile launchers or anything else that could do serious harm. Let's take cover in a corner. What's down there? Is it just an alcove? See, why would you... You should make your ships more functional, man. Why do they have all this bullshit everywhere? This is a cluttered-ass ship. 
This b ship is built with all the design of like an Indian power pole. An, an Indian telecom pole. It's just like, why would you do this to yourself? Oh, I hear noises. Ooh, there's an artifact back here. Yeah, buddy, what is this? Ooh, a lantern. Hell yeah, another major relic. We got two out of five this time around. Damn, look at us. Back up in here recovering shit for the chapter. We must be the dude. Where does all this stuff lead? Just like down into like reactor level? Breaching force is here. Oh, don't run. Don't run. There's another console, though. Oh, it looks like I got the gold bar. Is apparently my willpower, maybe. We are the voice of the Imperium, and we must bring the eternal light of the God Emperor on his golden throne. Bringing it through the vast galaxy and enlightening the darkest corners where humanity has been and will be. Our destination is the Sexus 7 system. A system of the Imperium cut off from Terra for far too long and which has forgotten. It has forgotten its origins and above all it has forgotten that only the Emperor and his great mercy can guide us on the sinuous, dangerous roads that lead to the light. Our last intervention to restore the omnipotent Emperor's reign in the Lost Sector resulted in failure. We are now forced to spread the good word in a more forceful way. That, my brothers, is why I need you to mirror my voice and the voice of the Imperium in this crusade. I wonder what willpower does. It's not the ammo for my powers, I don't think. I'm gonna point out that I'm not going the right direction at all right now. Bad decision making. Say what you will about the Nids, but they do not make amazing tacticians. Ow, bastard. How dare you. Although, technically, in the lore, those claws should go right through Terminator armor. They have Rending Claws, after all, and Rending Claws are not to be diddled with. If you're going to diddle with something, I would recommend you not diddle with a, with a Rending Claw. Among things that really, really hurt and can go through ridiculously thick Ceramite armor, that would be one of the ones that I would put near the top of the list, actively. That's way up on the list. That's just like, don't mess around with it. This room seems kind of important. I'm getting stubbed like a toe up in here. Yeah, these wide open spaces were probably a poor decision as far as... Can't get a flank right there. I was trying for one. Warrior strip. That dude had a plasma gun. Hell no. To the hell no. That's what I say when I see plasma guns. Hell no. Yeah! Oops, I shot my own party member in the butt cheek. My bad. Your holy butt cheek has been damaged by my righteous bolt of fire. It's all good, brother. My butt is girded with the light of goodness. Let no bolter ever affect it. Hey, good for you for being ambitious, man. I'm just going to keep walking forwards, okay? I'm going to keep walking forwards and hoping that I don't get omnommed. Not today. Not ever. Oh, dude, I heard a clicky noise. So I think some of the strains like disrupt our radar because I can see it flickering and acting kind of weird. It's got me a tiny bit nervous. Run! Flee, brothers! Flee! Man, that thing clear out a hallway though, doesn't it? Jesus. What a weapon. Like my future AA-12. 
I also need to figure out where the hell we're going. Navigation time. So we need to go... We're securing something that is in that direction. Oh. So yeah, I probably could have just hung a Louie right there, but I'll go right and we'll... Well, no, because that's the lower floor. we got to get to the top floor, so... Yeah, I guess we'll just follow this back this way. Open that on up. Everybody in. I'm leaving doors open because it's too much of a pain in the ass to get the dipshit pathfinding to get the hell out of the way. What was this down here, though? Was there an artifact? Or was this just like a dead end? I bet there's an artifact. It's gotta be. What else would there be in a location like this? It would have to be an artifact. Oh. It's just a dead end. On the plus side, at least now they can only attack us from one direction, so that's a big plus. Oh, they're big and scary. Yeah, I'm just going to clear the hallway out real quick. I don't see a reason to risk my biscuit. I don't want to risk it. My biscuit. Because it ain't no Trisket. Mm, there's a stalker around that's disrupting our radars. Sheet. Probably going to get hit from the left-hand side. Uh, he needs Narthesium. Oh, there's a dead end right there, so we have to go around. Okay. Damn! I need to get better at navigating. I need to figure this shit out a little bit more effectively. Yeah, that guy is the size of... Oh my god, what the hell was that? Somebody heal me. That thing took a chunk out of me. Filthy Xenos using coward technology like invisibility. Can I get to where I'm going from here? God, I hope so. Looks like we're golden. Looks like we're good to go. So... Ah! I think... Oh, this is where we came from. Well, then I'm just dumb and I was looking for relics and I got off track. Put a couple rounds on that warrior strain, or at least chase him down with some fire or something. Oh, the fire didn't kill him. Well, that's never a good sign. Holy balls, that's a big Xeno, and I have shot it so many times. How is it not dead? Die! Good God, get out of my way. I crunch you. Oh, he won't even crunch. He's so big that he won't crunch. What kind of bug won't crunch when I command it? Oh, shit. Woo! I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. Alright, I think this is a decent spot to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Deathwing. I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for stopping on. And everybody, I'm going to try not to get shot by bolter fire anymore. Alright?